how drivers who take the Bay Bridge may be used to getting stuck in traffic during the summer. Now, though, it looks like major delays are going to continue past Labor Day with the repair project that starts this fall. It's going to take a long time to get it finished. We have WMAR 2 News Mark Roper at the Bay Bridge right now. So, Mark, what do drivers need to know about this repair work? Well, the MDTA plans to do some repair work on the westbound northern span here, but they're not closing the entire span. This means there will be no more two-way traffic during the project, and commuters could see three-mile backups during rush hours. Now, starting after Labor Day, the right lane of the westbound northern span will be closed between 9 a.m. Mondays through 6 a.m. Fridays. The temporary lane reduction will last a month until October 1st, when the right lane closure goes 24-7 until mid-April next year. Drivers will get a break during the Thanksgiving holiday, but next spring, the temporary closures between 9 a.m. Mondays through 6 a.m. Fridays will resume as we head into the summer season from about mid-April through late May. And anyone who has taken the Bay Bridge during the summer knows just how bad traffic can get. So all lanes will reopen during the busy summer season. But then the fall of 2020, the right lane closures begin again, following a similar pattern after Labor Day. Now, concrete barriers will be in place during the 24-7 repair periods. And the MDTA says that will not only make lanes more narrow, but put an end to two-way traffic during construction. This $27 million project is funded by the tolls that you pay and they expect this to be completed by August of 2021 and hopefully drivers will have a much smoother ride by then. We are live in Stevensville. Mark Roper, WMAR2 News.